In this video, we will see if we can use uh, LTSpice, our simulation software, to analyze the circuit with multiple sources. And we will also use this video to demonstrate superposition in linear systems. The circuit that we are going to use is the same one that we used in an earlier uh, video. has five nodes. Out of these five nodes, VA, VD, and VE are known to be 5 volts, 2 volts, and 0 respectively. And the two unknown voltages over here are VB and VC. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 resistors of relatively small values, 2, 4, and 1, and so on, just so that uh, we get good numbers, um, uh, uh, rational numbers for our results. So if uh, we can express our two unknown voltages in VB and VC as a linear combination of the two known voltages V1 and V2, we could do that if we have scalars A1, B1, A2, and B2. So suppose we know that this system is linear. So the, the network of resistors, if we assume that that's a linear circuit, and it, it is because of Ohm's law, um, we have two sources V1 and V2, and because the system is linear, we can express any unknown voltage as a linear combination of V1 and V2. For VC, similarly, a linear combination of V1 and V2 again. Uh, in, in these two equations, for example, say we do not know A1, A, B1, A2, and B2. Uh, those are scalars. And say we do not know those. Uh, let's see if we can use LTSpice for this particular circuit to find these scalar values. So the relationships are carried over and let's see if we can find A1. Well, A1 is the coefficient of V1 and I can find A1 if I were to make V2 a constant or zero, that term would cancel out and I would have VB equals a constant times V1. And if I were to uh, sketch it, then the slope of the line would give me A1. In the same manner, to find B1, I would make V1 0 or a constant and then change V2 and observe it on the horizontal axis, look at VB on the y-axis, and the slope of that line would give me B1. Similarly, I can find the two other constants, A2 and B2. So let's see if we can find A1 for, this, the, for, for the purpose of this video. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to make V2, uh, I'm going to make it into a constant, and I'm going to apply a DC sweep on V1. I'm going to get a linear relationship, hopefully, and then the slope of that relationship between VB and V1 is going to give me a1. So those three steps are described uh, underneath the equation over here. So we to ho hold V2 constant or switch it off, which means make V2 0, which means the resistance across that voltage source is 0, meaning replace the voltage source with a short circuit. Once you do that, that particular term either becomes a constant or it becomes 0. So if it is zero, then it goes away and there's no y-intercept to our line. If it is a constant, then that is just the y-intercept of that line. The slope is what we are after. So in order to observe the slope, we sweep V1 and we are gonna observe V1, the changes in V1 on the horizontal axis. And we will look at or record VB on the vertical axis. So let's see how we can do that using LTSpice. So I'm going to switch over to LTSpice. I have the same circuit set up over here. Uh, and I'm going to run a DC sweep in which I'm sweeping across V1. I'm going to apply a linear sweep starting from negative 5 volts, stopping at 5 volts, in increments of one volt. If I say okay, I'm going to 
um, run that command and I'm interested in VB for now so I'm going to hover my mouse at that node and I'm going to click on that node once I click on that node I see a linear relationship between the horizontal axis which in this case is V1 and the Y axis which in this case is the node voltage VB so if that is a linear relationship the slope of this line would actually give me the scalar A1 and I can quickly find that slope out by using change in Y divided by change in X so the change in X is of course negative 5 all the way to 5 so 10 volts but the change in Y is from about 2.4 volts all the way down to about negative 1.9 volts so 2.4 uh, and negative 1.9 is going to give me that's a change of 4.3 volts in divided by the change in X is 10 volts so that gives me a slope of 0 0.43 for a1 and just so that I have something to validate this result I'm going to look at what I had derived in the other video for the same circuit at the end of this I got a relationship for VB which I expressed using V1 and V2 and the slope with respect to V1 was in fact 0 0.424 very close to 0 0.43 uh, and the only reason why these two numbers are slightly different is because I did not regard the exact starting and ending point of that uh, of that linear relationship so I just made it an approximate value in the same manner if I were to hold uh, the other source V1 constant sweep through V2 I could find the other uh, constant V1 and then of course I can do the same thing for VC so right now if I if I click on VC and measure the slope of this line VC for the blue line which is VC with respect to V1 if I measure the slope of that that would give me the constant A2. Alright, I hope this uh, video helps.